what's up everyone welcome to your 27th Python tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your very own functions now in the last tutorial I showed you guys or actually in the last couple tutorials I've been teaching you guys how to use built-in functions but there's going to come a time where you're going to need to make your own functions and this is useful because if you want to use the same code over and over again it's useful to have a function so the first thing that we need to do before we even create a function is something called define a function now we need to define a function because when your python program comes across the name of your function it's not going to know what the heck it is so before you start calling and using your function you obviously need to create one in defining a function and creating a function is the exact same thing so to do this go ahead and write def on your screen and this means define a function which also means create a function next give your function a name and I'm gonna name mine what's up and once you named it you have to put any parameters you're gonna use so after the name I'm gonna put X and you'll see why later and again this creates it this names it and I'm gonna use a variable in my function called X so that's why I have that now in your function body you have to write what instructions you want your function to do so what do I want this function called what's up to do well the first thing I want it to do is return a value and this is actually going to be the only thing I want it to do I'm gonna want it to say what's up and then I'm gonna want to write X so whatever they put in for X I want it to return what's up and then that name X and now that's all the function see bam roasted toasted the function is created so how do we use this function well whenever we supply um, a variable X it's gonna return the value what's up in the variable X so whenever we're writing this in a program we're gonna want to print that out so hold on a second I got itch so now we write print and you don't have to print it you can like store it as a variable or anything you want I'm just gonna print this out to show you and next how you use your function you just call it by the function name what's up and then inside your parameters put whatever you want to have for X so I want to have um, let's put Tony so let me go ahead and run this and it says what's up Tony And let me show you guys what exactly happened here this is our program right here it says print what's up Tony well WTF is what's up Tony Oh, you created a function called what's up alright so whatever parameter this is I'm gonna throw this in for X so again that's why I use the parameter it's like a temporary placeholder um, for whatever parameter this is so whatever you put in inside your what's up it gets called to this one right up here and it just plugs it in so again if you print out something else print what's up uh, let me make sure I spell it right and have something else noob what's up noob it's gonna say alright when I use the what's up function I'm supposed to return what's up plus whatever they put in so that's what this does so that's the basics of the um, function and you can also have something like um, a math function and not just a string function so let's go ahead and create another function called define or create um, plus 10 and if you can't guess what this sort what this uh, function is going to do yes it's going to add 10 so instead of returning um, a name we want to return whatever they plug in for y we don't know what it is yet so we're just use y plus 10 and now we create that now we put print and let's see plus 10 I'm just kidding it says plus 10 gotcha and for the parameters you can put any number you want so 44 and what this is going to do is take that 44 plug it in for y and add 10 to it so let's go ahead and press enter and it outputs 54 so again to recap one more time whenever you create a function you, used to, you need to have whatever parameters you're going to take and then in your return statement you have to write what you want to do with those parameters or variables and then once you call your function or use it in your program this gets treated as that variable which is y and it puts that in for y and does whatever you want to do to it in this case we added 10 to it that's why we got 44 plus 10 
So those are your basics of functions and how to create a function and how to write instructions for your function. So pay attention to this. Um, practice making your own simple functions. And in the next tutorial, uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but it's going to be sweet. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.